Hey guys, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel, Hello Sparkles. Today I just wanted to show you guys how I made my moon garland for my fireplace. Just a super simple, quick and easy tutorial. I didn't want an extravagant tutorial of now pull out your Cricut or your silhouette or whatever it is. Because I know a lot of you guys probably don't even have those machines. So I wanted to do something that you guys could do with something you had at home. So I used this foil paper I got from Michaels in the clearance section for 79 cents a piece. In all honesty, I didn't know it was foil paper until this project. I just bought it because it was pretty. And this is why I was like, hmm, what the heck is this? So I just took and cut out circles with uh, my hole punch, my giant hole punch I have, I got from Michaels. I think it's a, a two, I believe it's a two and a half inch or a 6.35 centimeter hole punch. You can do scissors and cut out your shape, whatever you want to do. Um, whatever's easiest for you, whatever you have on hand, like I said before, but this is what I did because it was what was easiest for me. It was what I had on hand. <laughs> so I ended up taking my hole punch, cutting out a circle, and then cutting it in half again to, to create the crescent. Pretty simple. Nothing too spectacular there. And then I think I got nine circles for each page, and I believe I did two and a half pages to three pages of circles. I think I probably did three full pages of circles in the end. I don't remember how many I did, but I know I got nine circles for each page. I believe. Maybe it was more, actually. Oh, no. It was nine. Just kidding. Anyway, I got nine circles for each page, and then there was 13 moons in all. That's seven crescents and six full moons. I knew that I wanted to have a crescent on each end and a crescent right in the middle, and so it would be symmetrical on either side. Here I'm just taking the crescent moon that I had already created first. So each crescent moon that I was going to be making was the same size or roughly the same size. I ended up tracing it in on the back of the circles and creating that line there so I knew where to cut. I tried cutting it out with my scissors. I didn't like how the jagged edges looked. Um, so I ended up going back and just trimming it down with my hole punch or the edge of my hole punch. I just took and drew the crescent moons out and cut them with my hole punch from there and decided that was a simpler way to go about doing it and it made a smoother edge which I enjoyed. If you can have a uh, smooth hand at cutting out things with scissors, more power to you. These scissors however just suck. I've probably used them too much and I don't I don't take great care of them I guess you can say because they're, they're a little stiff. So whenever you cut out everything make sure you have double of what you need. So in all yes there's seven, seven crescents, six full moons, but you need to make sure you have two, so, you know, math, 14 crescents, crescents, 12 full, you know, because that's how things roll in this world, apparently. You actually do use more math. <sighs> <laughs> then I just took glue and glued in between, glued the string down in between. Uh, each moon here. I ended up using fishing, fishing line because it gave a floating effect. I put a crescent moon in the middle of where I knew it was going to be because I folded it in half and taped it to my table. I, did, I forgot to say that before, but I folded it in half and taped it to my table after I had measured it all out and then eyeballed the distance in between each moon. So since I knew I wanted the crescent moon in the middle, I put one there and then eyeballed, like at the fold, and then eyeballed everything else out to be even on each side. Is it exactly even? No. Is it close enough? Yes. To the naked eye? You can't tell. It's fine. It looks good. I like it. Don't break out your measuring tape when you're at my house because it probably really isn't even. <laughs> In the end, I really like how it turned out. I hope you guys did too. It's Like I said, it's a really quick tutorial. Hey look, I finally got to put my flowers on my fireplace. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really did. I really liked it. It's a simple little project and I love how it turned out. To 
I hope you guys have a wonderful day. 